I can't believe exactly what I'm hearing. We went to war in World War II to fight for the freedom of speech. We didn't fight for a freedom of speech of hatred. Many of our members, I'm a national commander of Jewish war veterans, and over 50,000 of our men died They're fighting for your right to free speech here now. I don't understand why you come out with such hatred. Phil, excuse me, Phil. Yes. Mr. Muhammad, sir. You, you make me sick to my stomach with that. Because well, at the same time that you were fighting, you were not no, fighting for the freedom and independence of black people. Soldiers, black soldiers in segregated companies lost their lives on foreign soil there, but would have to come back and fight just to get a bite to eat and not have to go to the toilet on the side of the road somewhere in the bushes. So you're nothing but hypocrites and you won't pull that small time stuff over on me. Chain us and relocate us. Take away our identity and rename us to erase us, maim us and rape us impregnate us to dilute us and beige us in the name of jesus they said they saved us but they're the predators and the prey us this the freedom they claim they gave us reparations for everyone but they never paid us they claim they fixed it but they're still trying to break us blame us and frame us jail us cage us and then say we should be thankful for the life they gave us steal our history and claim us they hate us while they crave us. They need our melanin so they date us. Lie and say they made us. Enslaved students, still slaves to a school system that miseducates us. We'll go back to Africa, but they will never relocate us. They want to keep us asleep, but we trying to wake us.